Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne and we, we finally got a delivery from Eagle Moss's Build the DeLorean. Here comes issue 52. Okay, issue 52, we still haven't escaped the dreaded wires as you can see. We've got uh, some wires in this one, one, two, three, looks like four wires in this one. A couple of cable ties, but I won't be using cable ties, I'll be using my trusty fishing wire, which just so you know is... 35 pound fishing wire so uh that's uh what i use uh, i'll give you a reason why i'm doing that later on but uh anyway this is all we're going to be doing we're going to be putting the wire in and then we're going to be attaching one of the seals in there uh i think that looks about it and with the seal we've got the little uh, parking brake so uh that's all there is to do uh with issue 52 so let's get cracking on it straight away okay first thing we need to do is get the wires out and get the whole pack out so i think the first thing we should do is open all this lovely pack oh it feels so good to be having something back again that i can use <laughs> okay so let's get all of this out without losing anything that looks good so uh, i'm gonna need a nice screwdriver i know that because this one does come with the screws which is good so right cables first we've got one black cable there two black cables three black cables and then we've got a nice load of colored cables which are looking like that. They've already been uh, crimped at the ends, as you can see on the side camera there. See, so uh, what we're going to be doing is putting all of these together. Now, I think what I'm going to do, because I'm not using the cable ties, just so you know, uh, but I will use the cable ties, one cable tie, sorry, just to keep them all together while I sort out the fishing wire. Because what I'll do is I'll put the fishing wire on the... Uh, below those bits you see so i'm going to use that just to keep let's move that out of the way just to keep these all together because i'm going to put some fishing wire here i mean in the picture they've only put two uh tied it together with two bits that's why i've got two fishing wire so i'll probably put one there i think i'm going to use three but as i said i use this stuff and the reason i'm using this is because if you think about how big a cable tie is and then you take that down in scale to one eighth scale it would be so microscopic you probably wouldn't hardly see it so um I think all the sizes that I've seen, even these ones here, are so exaggerated and big to what they should be. Uh, that's why I decided I'm going to keep it clear by using one of these. And the good thing about these is because they're pretty much invisible, you can put hundreds of these in and no one will notice. And they're so easy to work with. You saw, you saw how easy it was for me there just to uh, um, just to tie a knot there. So let's uh, get the second one in. There we go. So that's the first knot in. Easy and see, I can just put that down wherever I want it. I'm going to stick that there. Uh, let's get another bit out. I am definitely going to put three because I want to keep these tidy. I can see that if we only use two, it's going to go all over the place. Uh, we don't want that. Right, today is Monday the 4th. So, you know, I'm only one month, one and a half months late doing this because, you know, they didn't send it to me. Uh, last night was the solo trailer on the Super Bowl. What do you guys think of that? I have to say, but my most impressive trailer, to be honest with you, I thought last night. After, I mean, last night we had the Mission Impossible trailer. We had the uh, um, Solo. We had another Avengers Infinity War. But my favourite one was Dundee the movie because the Australian Tourist Board really saw us coming. And advertised a film which we, uh, we're we not getting. It was just a stunt for the Australian uh, to go visit Australia. Which I thought was excellent. <laughs> I like clever things like that. So you see I'll take this bit off now so I can do the last one. And then what I'll do is I'll put some twists in it so that uh, it's not fanned out. Because when this is down you're going to see it's going to be looking like that. I will be putting some twists in it so that it doesn't do that. But let's get the last one on. Now if you are using cable ties this bit's going to be a hell of a lot quicker for you. Um, but as I said, because I've used these all along and they haven't come out. Of all the ones I've done so far, they've been perfect. So uh, I'm sticking with it. And I think the reason that I decided to use these as well. Oops, we had a bit come out there. So let's tie that bit on again. Is because uh, when I used to do fishing, I used to make such a mess <laughs> with these these uh, little monofilament line. Because it would... Uh, if I create a knot, the knot would never, ever come undone. So I was like, ah, oh, actually, that's probably a good thing then, because we don't want this to come undone. So I'll put this in here. There we go. That's that in. I'm just going to slide that up a bit, keep them all together. 
there we go and then we'll snip off the excess there whoops one there and one there perfect okay so we've got that now where we fan them out you see all the cables now stay together so that's pretty much the way we want it okay let's put these to one side because what we need to do now is we need to bring over we need to bring over this little beast here do you remember this <laughs> okay right so that was step one so step two we're going to be placing the cables along the door next to the driver's seat so what we're going to be doing is on this side we're going to be putting them down this side here i don't know if you can see that on top but it's probably better from the side down here and they're going to be coming through this little hole at the back and just running down here now it doesn't matter which way around we go but step three wants us to poke them through this hole i've got a funny feeling ah there we go that was quite easy to be honest with you although i say that <laughs> they all didn't go through let's try that again chances are if it says it's easy uh it wasn't <laughs> it, it's never gonna be gotta get every single one through let's do the other side actually it is a little bit fiddly but they want me to take off the uh let me just show you actually they want me to take off this little uh thing that's holding the wires down anyway because we're going to be clamping this one down and that's going to be in step um uh step five but we're not up to that yet let's just get this uh put through first there we go that's through obviously that's going to be coming down there like that uh, but it wants me to clamp this end in first so if we leave a little bit of excess at the back there just like that and then we're going to be clamping this bit down around about there i'd say into these little two holes that uh, i don't know if you can see on the top camera we've got two little holes there we're going to be putting them in with this little gray sort of thing here now that's going to be secured down this is step four with an ap screw so i've got some ap screws here as you notice i haven't got my uh, screw boxes out today because i was kind of hoping that eagle moss would actually give me them but uh remember the bigger hole it's probably better on the side camera the bigger hole is for the actual plasticky bit and the smaller hole is for the screw so we'll get the bigger hole in now i always 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 have problems putting these things in so what i'll do is i'll get this in first secure that down notice how quiet i go when i'm doing something really fiddly and detailed <laughs> it's just always the same okay so that's the, that's that one in that was step four done and that's the little plasticky thing here and just like i said before i'll show you on the top camera i'm going to be bringing these bits down here now it doesn't say how far to go out the back but i've got far too much here and not enough here so i am going to pull that through a little bit which i should be able to do so all I'm doing is putting a little bit behind the back. So this is step five. We're going to be undoing this little catch here, folding this down, and then reattaching the catch there. That was steps five, six, and seven. So let's do that now. I'm sure there's an easy way to do this, but, uh, well, we'll see. I'm going to just loosen one completely and one slightly so that I can use it like a... There we go. So I can just bring it around just like that. So when that's down... Oh, this is fiddly. I should be able to... There we go. I should still be able to put it all back in without it all flying off of everywhere. Right, we'll screw that in. Oh, this is good so far. No cuts. <laughs> okay, and then from the top camera there, that's in. Actually, it's probably better from the side. You can see that's what it looks like from the back. If, you're, if this is one of the first videos you're watching, all of these leads here are just some of the mods that I've done and I'll, uh, I'll be wiring them up later. Uh, but basically, once I've got this how I want it, we can train these wires now to exactly how we want it. So it's going to look sort of like that going inside the vehicle.
Okay. Okay, that was step seven. Right, step eight, we're going to be putting this to one side for a second because we're going to be working on the seals. Uh, just so you know, I'm not carpeting the seals. I know I've carpeted the car, uh, but I do like the look a bit like the uh, my Volkswagen Fox where the, the, the car's uh, carpeted, uh, but the lips aren't. They're, uh, they're all nice and, uh, well, easy to wash. <laughs> okay, so next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be attaching the parking brake, which is uh, this little thing here, and that's going to be secured into these little holes here. It can only go in one way again because you've got a big uh, little nipply thing there and a smaller one there, so they can only go in one way, which is this way here. And then that is going to be secured in by, I'm not sure, but I'm guessing an AP screw. <laughs> Let's have a look. I'm going to turn the page. That was step eight. So step nine, yep, I was absolutely right. It's an AP screw. If in doubt with this build, I've noticed it's normally an AP screw that goes in. Um, it's probably best to get this started and then rotate it round to where it goes. Because that didn't go in at all then. <laughs> all right. Let's try that again. Put the, the little one in the little hole. The big one in the big hole. Like that. Whoa, keeps falling out. It'll be all right once it's screwed in. And now we get to screw that in. You know what? I thought this bit would be the easy bit. This bit's quite fiddly. I don't want to cut away. I think I'm conning you if I'm cutting away. There we go. It's going in now. So I'm making sure that that's all in. We've started it. So we're finishing. <laughs> Okay, so there we go, that's it. So, little parking brake in there. Uh, and then, this is step 10, we're gonna be putting this whole thing in on this side here. Now, this is gonna be fitting in uh, this way round. As you can see, you've got the little lips here that it's gonna be sitting onto. So, I'll show you on the side camera. When I slot this in, these little downward shafts here are gonna be going right over the top of them. It is gonna pinch the wire, so I'm, I don't want that to happen. So, let's uh, have a look what we can do here to stop that pinching the wire. Because once this is secured down, it's not moving again. Um, have people got it going above or below the uh, handbrake? See, I'm just looking at this. I think it's probably going to be better above the handbrake. So I'm going to, for that end, I am going to do that. I'm going to lift it up. And I, if I need to tidy it up later, I will. But I put it above the handbrake there. Let me show you that on the side camera, you see. And then I'll tidy that up later. But all of that is going to be secured down. This is step 11 with FP screws. Now, they only sent us two packs of screws. So we've got the APs and these are the FPs here. So let's uh, get the FP screws out. Oh, it's good to be doing this build again. Can't you tell? Now, I've got 52, 53, 54, 55. I'm still a month behind because uh, I still haven't received the ones with the uh, dreaded flux capacitor. And the Christmas tree, which I believe is, is that 56, 57, 58 and 59. Uh, they're still MIA at the moment, so God knows when they're going to be turning up. But uh, I will wait patiently. I've got some R2s on the way as well, so <laughs> I think this week is going to be a build week. Uh, loads of stuff coming. All right, okay, last one in. So this was step uh, 11. Yeah, step 12 does tell you about the cable, so it's a good job we did take that up, because it wants us to position this cable here, just down this area of the handbrake. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> it's fiddly and fun. Okay, so we'll push this down into there. A little trough. Probably it's going to need some tidying up, which I'll do afterwards, but... That's going down there, and I'll probably put another thing down there as well, but... That... We're step 12 done, which means that that is issue 52 done. So let's show you on the main camera here. So we've got it going down there. Said so the only thing I think I've got to do is just tidy that bit of wire up uh, just there. You can see it's sort of spaced out. I want that all batched together. Uh, other than that, that is the parking brake and the side bits in. And that is issue 52 done. Yay! <laughs> issue 53. Um, I'd like to say that we haven't got any more cables, but uh, just looking at the book here. We've got cables. So uh, not many. I think once that's done, no more wires. But I hope you like that video. It's good to be back. Take care.